Now to a story that is all new this morning. A Massachusetts man accused of brutally raping a woman who was a stranger and leaving her for dead. The woman thankfully survived and gave police a small piece of information that turned out to be a huge piece of evidence in leading to an arrest. Erica Ritchie is live in our control room. She picks up the story from here. Well, Danielle, that woman told police that the attacker, her attacker, was carrying a white coffee cup, a Dunkin' Donuts cup to be exact. Talk about a needle in a haystack. But police took that one piece of information and went right to work, starting at the scene of the alleged crime. This is the Middlesex, Middlesex Falls Reservation, where the victim told police she'd been attacked early Friday morning. As officers combed the area, they found the discarded cup the victim described, and on the cup was a sticker showing the time and place it was purchased. That led police to pull security footage from this Dunkin' Donuts in Medford Square. They then went to a nearby housing complex where folks there helped investigators identified the suspect as 28 year old Brady McHugh in court yesterday. The prosecutor said that within hours after the woman reported the alleged crime, McHugh was in custody confessing to it, telling investigators he hit the woman over the head with the rock, struck her 14 times in the face before trying to duct tape her mouth and drag her into that wooded area to rape her. Before he purchased the coffee at the Dunkin Donuts, he had left his apartment with the intention of hurting someone later indicating that he left the apartment with the intention to kill someone. And at that arraignment yesterday, a judge ordered that McHugh undergo a mental health evaluation to uh, determine competency and uh, criminal responsibility. That's the latest live in the control room this morning. Erica Ritchie, 12 News.